Namaste. Uh, welcome to my fifth tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be talking about uh, how to solve any uh, first order differential equation using Ron's Kutta method. Okay, there are two methods in Ron's Kutta, and and the first one is second order Ron's Kutta method, and the next one is fourth order Ron's Kutta method. This second order Ron's Kutta method. Uh, is used for solving first order differential equation like this uh, dy over dx equals f of x comma y that is uh, in this method you know, the first derivative is supposed to be a function of x um, so is supposed to be f as function of x and y okay so this is the boundary condition given in the second order Aranskuta method Okay, so our from the formula for calculating solution is uh, i plus 1 solution can be found by using previous solution plus this, okay? And uh, this a1 is nothing but uh, its value is half and k1 is uh, this and k2 is this, okay? Similarly, uh, a2 is half, k2 is uh, this and yats is nothing but the uh, width interval in the x okay width or interval in x so k1 is defined as f of x comma y first uh, uh, yi uh, first value of k1 is obtained by using f of x naught comma y naught where x naught and y naught are uh, the initial conditions okay and this is k2 here value of p1 is 1 so the k2 will be f of x i plus x comma y i plus mm, uh, k1 into y okay so this is our k1 and k2 this is um, uh, sol i plus 1 solution using this formula we can find the solution uh, and this is exactly identical with Euler's method except some differences on the formula so mm, I would like you to uh, check my fourth um, video regarding the solution or differential equation using Euler's method on the same file I am going to edit uh, some aspects and uh, this is Euler in the Fortran code on the same file um, yes up to here everything is same and uh, this is also same but what we gonna do is we define k1 k2 on this formula okay so mm, let us I did this everything is same except this um, just the formula is different as a, okay function we can change the function whatever we like here so first of all see uh, this is our formula and this is k1 this is k2 so first define k1 and k2 over here since mm, k1 is a uh, real variable so define it as k1 as real similarly k2 as real okay so now what is k1 k1 is nothing but just the function of x comma y okay so this is k1 all right uh, and we can simply multiply that by yards as well uh, so that we can modify this formula uh, here also multiply by yards here also multiply by yards so mm, into yards so we can simply uh, insert x into f of x comma y this is k1 and k2 equals simply f of x plus x and y plus uh, uh, y plus k1 into x okay so uh, this is one that's why k1 into x alright uh, so add uh, x into f of x plus x comma y plus k1 into x okay so this is our next formula k1 k2 simply uh, simply you can verify this formula from here as well eh? uh, this uh, sorry this q11 is nothing but one and k1 into x is here all right so k1 and k2 is here now uh, okay this is dy um, dy and 
Uh, y would be okay. I, I will change slightly, change the formula. dy equals uh, half of okay. Dots should be given to find the right answer in here. This is half multiply here in close this um, by bracket. Sorry, okay. So then into here now half of k1 plus k2 is it fine yes is already included so this is half k1 half k2 yes is already included all right so this is dy and dy should be introduced as a real variable so dy is here and finally this is the interval finally y equals y plus dy all right uh, this is x, this is y, and these are k1 and k2, right? So, uh, okay, the logic behind this, uh, everything is same, um, same as in Euler method. We will first, um, what, first uh, give the initial condition of x, and then initial condition of y, and then uh, the interval width, the yards, and the value of x at which y is to be found and this here is nothing but the integer uh, and this can be obtained by x given minus x divided by x but to find the nearest integer we add 0 0.5 here inside bracket this is number and uh, integer of that number would be the n so uh, i runs from 1 to n inside the do loop so the x can be found from 1 to n similarly y can be found from 1 to n so and I have printed this inside the to loop to find all the answers corresponding to x but if you want to find only one answer one answer then uh, deactivate this and activate this all right so I have used both thing over here this is our function and these are something uh, that we want to see all right so if you didn't understand this uh, in the run scooter second error then please go to my previous video and watch Euler's and differential equation solution okay then then I have edited the content exactly from that so this is my previous so uh, I want to copy this control C and then uh, don't save okay mm, now I want to open terminal here by pressing ctrl alt t and then I move to desktop and I open uh, document editor as the editor g edit only Our name will, will be rk second dot f90 to run this inside the no, uh, all right in the background i will add end all right so this is my document editor now paste the thing that we have uh, copied over there name of the program is nothing but uh okay second all right so this is the program uh okay so i have already explained save it and then go to terminal and then compile it g4 run rk second dot f90 okay dot f90 right so it will compile i uh, yes now uh, to see output dot slash a dot out should be inserted so it, uh, as are in the previous video same this is same example so initial condition is zero for yaks similarly zero for y yeah, value of h will be 0 0.25 and um, we need to find the value of y at x equals 1 so this is our solution so the answer is slightly different than the universe method right so this, uh, this thing gives slightly different results on, on our solution so uh, this is how we can find the solution of the first order differential equation using second order uh, Euler's sorry Ron's Kuta method. Okay, so if you want to 
uh, print the only one value uh, then yes deactivate this and activate the print right outside that do loop save it and now compile that and find the output okay zero 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 point two five as yards and one okay so this is our answer you see uh, only the last um, solution is found because we have asked to find the value of y at x equals zero so this is the value of y found at x equals zero this is how we can do users uh, sorry this is how we can do run scuta second order differential run scuta method for solving first order differential equation and okay thank you so much for watching this video in the next video i will be talking about fourth order differential equation uh, by changing slightly uh, different okay i will copy this uh, in the next for now thank you so much please do say something about this video thank you